All right, so I'm getting ready to do the blackout. And I'm going to take some painter's tape and tape my mask down in a few places because I don't want it to shift because it will take a couple passes with the larger jelly plate. black and PBO blue black and a little bit of the fabric medium and I'm gonna roll this one on my big jelly plate And I'm going to use my big plate like a stamp again because I don't think I can turn the fabric over and take it to the t-shirt. But I am going to have to stamp it a couple times. I'm going to push really hard. Sorry for blocking that camera. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do this multiple times to get the coverage that I want. I may do it with some straight up black and then use the PBO afterwards just to get a little more coverage and then lay the iridescent on top. Alright, I think I may switch to the smaller circle or rectangle just to 
see if I can't get coverage without touching the giraffe so much. This is the 3x5. And I'm holding on to the giraffe mask when I pick up to try to keep it from moving or displacing. So now I want to add some of the PBO definitely to this, what I think will be my last layer. And I may add it through a stencil. Just to make it more interesting. And just go straight PBO. So I can get some of that shimmer. Ah, uh, I nicked the top of the shirt. Let me try to get that real quick with the baby wipe. Let's uh, paint off the stencil. Which I kind of love, but I don't think I can keep. <laughs> I'm not sure t-shirt fabric's probably the easiest to jelly print on. Woven fabrics might be better. But I do like the Dots. Hopefully I have it. Just more of my paint coming off my stencil. Alright, and I have one last section that I'm going to try to get with the uh, circles. I 
and it looks like some of the paint came off my stencil for the giraffe but that'll flake kind of right off it doesn't have the fabric medium in it All right, I'm going to stop the camera and clean up, and then I'll show you. I'm going to take the painter's tape off and stencil across the top. All right, so I've taken some of the tape off, and I've put my stencil up, and I've got a cosmetic sponge. And I'm going to use some of the turquoise that's left over and the PBO and stencil... this little kind of Moroccan and I'm going back and forth between the darker teal and the lighter PBO. It's real important you're using a up down motion. I don't want to get under the stencil. And I'm trying really hard to keep my fingers off the shirt. And I'm going to turn the camera off and I have one more stencil I'm going to find that's going to go down on the bottom. Alright, so this is the last step and I'm going to stencil the words using the same turquoise um, PBO and this B is real delicate so I'm going to have to kind of hold it down. in places why I stencil it And I just realized, oh, 
eye dot isn't out of the stencil. I think that will do. And I did take the heat gun and I basically just took those paint flakes and melted them in and I'm going to pretty much leave them because I really like them and that's it for today thanks for watching